We start the top of the hour off with an exclusive bulldog investigation making international headlines and Captain Kirk himself is now responding after we aired alarming audio said to be of Star Trek star Nichelle Nichols screaming for her life. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Sean Gables. Hi everybody, I'm Thomas Roberts. Tonight the LAPD confirming they are investigating. Chief Investigator Jonathan Carlson broke that story last night. He's here with us for tonight's developments. Jonathan. Guys, good evening to you. William Shatner, who famously kissed Nichelle Nichols more than 50 years ago, reacting to our story in a statement to his nearly 3 million Twitter followers. This, as the LAPD confirms, they went to the home shortly after our story aired last night, and a source says they may be returning tonight with social workers. The sad case of Star Trek star Nichelle Nichols making headlines across the globe today, hours after our investigation went to air. The 86-year-old sci-fi icon is reportedly suffering from dementia. She's also suffering through a guardianship fight involving her son and longtime handlers and friends. I didn't give permission to have conservatorship over me. I didn't know what he was doing. Gilbert Bell, who says he's Nichols' manager, sent us this video claiming to show Nichols seeing court documents for the first time, filed by her son in an attempt to gain control of her estate. I'm the boss of me, Gil. What? He's not the boss of me. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. As her son is said to enter the room, the mood turns frantic. <laughs> We're going home now. Give me my going... step! Mother, Come here! Mother, no! Mother, no! Mother. no! Tonight, the LAPD is now involved, and Star Trek stars are reacting, including Captain Kirk himself. Actor William Shatner tweeting, Regarding Nichelle, I'm saddened by the video, but as much as I want to scream, she is the victim of the courts making a decision. Actress Chase Masterson, who starred on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, tweeting to fans, Guys, it's true about Nichelle. I spoke to the police twice this weekend. We need a groundswell of support. The courts are not taking this seriously. We must openly demand her safety. Now, I spoke last night with Ms. Nichols' son. He was very polite, but declined to comment or refute accusations. The LAPD won't tell me the outcome of that welfare visit, as it's a personal matter, guys. Well, Jonathan, keep us posted as this story continues to evolve. And if you have a tip for the Bulldog, we want to know about it. Email him at thebulldog at cbs46.com.